Hello and welcome to another episode of Salt Air. My name is Tom Hatch. I'm the creator of Salt. And with me today, I have May Hool from our product division. May Hool is the product manager over our new security offering, but also works very closely with developing the product for our SaltStack Enterprise platform. Now, we just released SaltStack Enterprise 6.0, and in this release, we're very excited to be able to have a brand new look and feel, a brand new UI and workflow that we're already getting heavy praise back from our customers. And so today, Mayhul, can you walk us through what this looks like and how this new UI functions and some of the new features that we have available? Sure, I would be happy to do that. Thank you, Tom. So welcome all. Uh, thank you for listening to this Salt Air episode. Today I'll be talking about SaltStack's uh, Enterprise 6.0, our latest uh, release for our enterprise enterprise offering. And I also would like to talk about uh, SaltStack SecOps later on. So what you see today, what you're seeing on the screen is the new UI for SaltStack Enterprise. Uh, as you can see, if you use SaltStack uh, Enterprise 5 or earlier versions, this is like a, this is a completely redefined uh, UI. <laughs> this is the Minions page that they, uh, which collects, or this is where all the assets or nodes that you're connected to the enterprise platform will show up. On this page, what you can do is you can start to create targets for running one or more jobs. So for example, uh, you could come in here and create a target and give it a name. For example, uh, salt air demo. Once you give it a name, we ask uh, you to define some criteria for uh, the target group. And by default, salt ships with a lot of grains. Uh, a grain is a system attribute you can use to target one or more systems. So for example, we could target by operating system. So let's say a CentOS, and then you can compound this or co combine this criteria with an add or, or a not operation. So in this case, you could uh, you could say, uh, you know, the grade is CentOS, and then let's say the salt version is 2019.2.0, which is also our latest version of salt uh, open. <clears throat> once you create, once you once you have defined the criteria, you could hit save, and those assets or minions will then show up uh, as a defined uh, target group. You could also, from an all minions tab, uh, click on some one or more minions and create a target, create a list uh, target from here. and then you can start to run jobs across it. I talked about grains, you can configure the view on this page. So for example, if you add, if you want to add more information on this page, uh, you could click on uh, what are more uh, grains that you want to bring in to this view. For example, let's say uh, we want to bring in the kernel grain. What you would do is you would pick, pick that column and Select kernel, and there you go. So you'll see, you know, this this UI flexes out to account for the new grains that you just selected, and all the all the all the targets that you created are on the left side. You can you, you can create, delete, and so on. So for example, let's go ahead and delete um, this target group, and oh, it's gone. So that's the high level overview of the minions. Uh, minions page. <clears throat> Once you have the minions created, you, know, you want to you want to do something with it. You might want to configure it a certain way. You want to patch those assets, uh, install some applications, and so on and so forth. So one of the things we did with SaltStack Enterprise 6.0 is create a, create an elements tab. So elements tab is where we consolidate uh, all the Task you would typically do with SaltStack Enterprise. So, uh, element could be a job, it could be a schedule, it could be a pillar, or it could be a salt state file that you create on the SaltStack Enterprise uh, file server. So let's go ahead and create uh, create a job from here. 
uh, notice that we have been consistent. We've made a lot of we've made a lot of changes on the UI side to be consistent across the board. So we, well, as you walk through the application, you'll notice uh, you know the buttons are of the same color. It's in the right place. It, you know it's, it's, it's consistent across uh, the board. So let's create a job here. Uh, let's create a job to ping all uh, assets. <clears throat> Uh, we'll select a target group from here. Uh, you can select one of the functions that, is sh that ships with salt, so for example, test.ping, and then uh, save. <clears throat> Once you save the job, it will show up on the jobs page. And from here, you can decide to run it. You can, do, you can, uh, you can also run the same job on a schedule. So similar workflow, you would come in here, create a schedule. We will pick uh, the job that we just created. Picking all assets. Notice that since we created the job with the targets attached to it, uh, the targets is already picked up in this, in this view. You can set this schedule to run on a recurring basis maybe every minute. And then you can select, say that you want to run this on save. So as soon as you save the schedule, um, the job will run. And you can expect a similar workflow for pillars and file servers. So once you create a schedule, uh, you, want to, you want to monitor it, you want to review, uh, you know, what's happening with those schedules and similar, you would expect a similar workflow for jobs as well. All those elements will show up in the activity tab. So, um, so notice the, the schedule that we created is now showing up as, you know, it ran, it completed, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it shows up under the completed tab. The jobs that are in progress will show up under in progress. And then finally, um, all the upcoming schedules will show up under the upcoming tab. So we've, we've flushed out the features based on uh, the schedule. So you'll see there are about 1,400 items based on since this is something that is going to run every, every minute. And then finally, we get down to um, uh, system administration. So I'm walking through a high-level changes that we made to salt stack enterprise you'll see you'll notice all this high, all the system administration functions are now grouped under system administration so for example creation of users configuration of directory services and so on and so forth one of the major changes we made to uh, salt stack enterprise was the simplification of uh, role based access control uh, one of the one of the common requests from our users was to simplify um, the permissions that are uh, that are assigned to typical uh, roles. Um, so what you can do with Salt Stack 6.0 is you can. So what we have done is we have grouped uh, the permissions based on typical tasks our user end up doing. So for example, you might want to uh, allow a user to only create and delete new targets. So that's a specific task uh, you can uh, assign to an end user. Uh, similar, similarly, you can assign a user to accept, delete, and reject keys. Once you select these um, uh, permissions at this high level, uh, behind the scenes, uh, they do go ahead and set uh, the read, write, read, read, run, write, and delete permissions for uh, those specific permissions. So, a good example would be if you uh, if you assign a role with accept, delete, and re reject keys, um, the appropriate permissions will be set uh, uh, under under uh, under the advanced advanced tab. <clears throat> And I can see there, Mayhul, that uh, you have the ability to set up groups that have specific uh, administrative access or even mm -hmm. just basic user access, and then we can assign users to those groups. So everything that you need from a role-based access control setup is made available. 
And that's one of the things that is really great about the enterprise platform is because it makes it very easy to allow larger teams to not only use and get the power of salt, but also it allows uh, that those teams that know salt really well to export their knowledge and their capability out to these other teams. That is correct. You know, we spend a lot of time on you know, how do we simplify uh, the the way you know users can come in. And if, for example, in this view, you can assign the resources. You can come in here um, in terms of uh, you know targets, and then assign read write permissions. And you can do the same thing with jobs as well. So it, it truly simplifies the workflow for our uh, customers um, with Salt Stack Enterprise Six O. So that's my high level overview of Salt Stack Enterprise 6.0. Um, uh, any other comments that you want to add here, Tom? No, it's uh, been really exciting for us to get this product out. It's taken a lot of effort and a lot of work with our customers. Uh, we're also very excited at the fact that uh, we have more customers than ever using our enterprise platform and helping us develop it. As our customer base has grown over the years, with these newer advancements, so has our product been able to refine itself. In the next episode, I'm going, Mayhul is going to be going into more depth on our new security offering that came in 6.0 of our enterprise platform. And so we'll be excited to talk about that. Thanks for joining me today, Mayhul, and until next time. Thank you.